Howdy y'all, Bush51 doing Let's Play Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask. Alright, in the last part we did a bunch of minigames, well, a bunch of the same minigame, and got ourselves a heart piece, and in this part we're going to be continuing with the heart piece of getting. Basically what we're going to do right now is we're going to head back over to this way, first of all. Uh, what we're going to want to do is we want to head back to the bomber's hideout. Over on this way. And eh, I don't feel like being Deku Link anymore, so I'll change out of that. Run on over this way, back into the hideout. What we're gonna want to do is we're gonna head over to the observatory. The uh, with the old guy in there. Bouncing across these, going this way, jumping, 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 going around this Deku killer, this Skulltula, Skulltula, whatever you want to call it. Okay, yeah, you gotta blow up this balloon again. So I guess I kinda needed to be Deku Link again. Bubble him! Boom! And change back. Okay, what we're gonna wanna do when we get in here is we are going to want to look inside the telescope one more time, but we're not gonna be looking at Skull Kid. What we're gonna be looking for is we're gonna be looking for the um the Deku Scrub guy who was selling his plot of land over at um in the plaza of South Clocktown. Yeah, yeah, howdy, blah, blah, blah. Yes, I would like to look in the telescope, please, Oldman. Alright, basically what we gotta do is we gotta watch... There he is. So we, what you gotta do is you gotta watch him follow his every movement through the telescope. Wow, it looks pretty cool on the final day, though, when everything's starting to get all, like, sepia-toned and whatnot. Okay, where are you gonna go, guy? Where do you think you're- Oh god, he flew right out of us. Where does he think he's going? Where is he going? What the heck? Where'd he go? Okay, seriously, what the heck? Uh, he's supposed to go inside that hole right there. Uh, but I don't know where the heck he went. Where did he go? Oh, is that him? No, that's the bird thing. Where the heck did he go? Jeez. Alright, well, whatever. Long story short, what we're gonna want to do is we're gonna head over to that hole right there. So what we are going to do is we're finally going to leave Clocktown. At least for the time being, we're gonna be back many more times, but we're finally gonna go out into the open adventurous world. Can you believe it? The time is now for adventure and excitement outside of the hub. But it might take us a little while to get there. Rolling our way across here. Um, again, like I said, we're probably gonna be returning to Clock Town a lot more times because we still haven't done everything we can do here, uh, yet. But we've done everything we can without leaving so far, pretty much. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna head right over to... Where's the guard? Where is he? Uh, not over this way. Oh, duh, where's the guard? I jump over him like a billion times. We're gonna head over this way since we can't really technically leave. Talk to this guy. Wait, I want to ask you something. Do you know whether or not the carnival's been canceled? I don't know. I'm sorry to bother you when you were in such a rush. I guess finding out the answer would do a little good anyway. All right, well, see ya. <laughs> he normally asks you why you're leaving. A child can't leave, blah, 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 because, you know, it's dangerous out or whatever. Welcome to Terminal Field. And I guess we went out the Ikana place. Wait. Alright, but what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to head over this way, up over to by the observatory. Pull out my sword just in case. So I pulled out my sword! Now I'm in the closet. Anyway, we're going to want up and run around this fence here, dodging that choo-choo. Which, when you kill it, it'll give you a heart. Uh, usually the choo-choos will give you whatever's inside of them. Uh, when you kill them. So they're like magic ones, there are heart ones, and yeah. What we're going to want to do is we're going to want to go up to this hole. It's around here somewhere. Here it is, right here. Want to go down, fall down here. And the Deku guy is in here. And what's your deal, guy? Ah! What are you doing here? This is my secret storage unit. It's a problem if you come in here without permission. Please, I'll sell you a piece of heart if you just keep this place a secret. 150 rupees for one. You're going to want to say no to that, actually. Hmm, no good? In that case, you leave me no choice. What about one for 100 rupees? That's when you want to say yes. You'll actually give it to you for 50 rupees cheaper if you uh, refuse it the first time. Alright, so that's heart piece number 7, I believe. 
It's not that I don't believe you, but just to be safe, I'm moving my storage. You hurry up and get out too. All right, you got it. Oh, and he's gonna fly away again. So I guess that means there's a Deku flower under there, but not that it really matters because it wouldn't help us in any way, but... Pointless trivia! Whoa, and he goes up there really weird. I guess because he doesn't have a sprite for just going straight up, he's gotta actually fly in a direction. Alright, but we got that heart piece, and now what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna wanna head, um... Actually, what we're gonna be doing right now is we're going to be resetting time once again. Going back to the first day. And again, I'm gonna get that 100 rupees, uh, just in case. Usually, again, I'm gonna do that pretty much every time. So we're gonna lose all the stuff we have right now. Uh, first of all, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna buy bombs. And also, we're gonna start doing some stuff at night of the first day. Fortunately, this episode isn't taking nearly as long as the last... I can't believe that last episode took, like, an entire one heart piece to do. I was amazed. Then I guess I could have done more with it, but, you know, whatever. Um, we're probably not going to slow down time. Basically, the only time you really want to slow down time is when you're inside the dungeon. So just in case if you screw up or whatever, then you still have a little bit of rebound, like, twice as much rebound. Alright, so we're going to go the quick way this time. So it doesn't take, you know, a year and a half to get those rupees. I don't remember if this is necessary actually to get 100 rupees every day, but I'm just doing it just in case if I do need money, which I probably will a little bit, and uh, I don't want to screw it up or nothing to be like, oh, guess what, guys, I'm broke. Now we have to go all the way back to Clock Town, blah, blah, blah. So I'm just going to get myself 100 rupees right now. And we're actually going to want to head out. Um, I don't think, yeah, east takes us to Ikana, so south takes us to the swamp. Don't want to go to either of those. Whatever, I'm just gonna go out the, uh, the south way anyway, because that's where we're supposed to be going for the first dungeon. Yeah, here we go, this is normally what the guy says. Stop right there! Have you some errand in the swamp? It is dangerous outside the town walls, so I can't allow a child like you to... the sword? He won't let us use our sword! Nah, just kidding. My apologies, sir. I was wrong to it was wrong of me to treat you as a child. The southern swamp it would fall as in this direction. Be careful! Thank you, guardman! You are helpful to us all. Alright, but we're supposed to be heading this way, but we're not going to be heading that way yet. Um, I think we actually want to... Oh, I went the completely opposite way that I wanted to go. Alright, so we're going to be exploring Terminus Field a little bit, because I went the wrong way. Go me. But yeah, I love this open area. It's not as... Eh, I don't know. I feel as though it's not really as grandeur as um, Hyrule Field was once you stepped out of Kokiri Forest in Ocarina of Time, but it is still pretty awesome, especially as it represents, like, all the elements in the game. Like, there's, um, woods and, um, icy mountains and just canyons and water and everything. Uh, really cool how they did that, actually. I really like that. Um, over that way is the Great Bay. Not gonna be going that way yet. What we're gonna wanna do is we're gonna wanna head over this way. Over to these strange snowy structures over here. I'm um, not entirely sure what they are exactly, but... Uh, what we're gonna want to do is, I believe it's this one right over here we're gonna worry about the most. So what I'm gonna do is proceed to the night of the first day. And that's not the right song. <laughs> Either I'm gonna just, you know, mash up uh, on the C stick. Alright, uh... Song like a double time. Alright, that's screwed up. There we go. Alright, proceeding to the night of the first day. Oh, that's really cool. You can hear the water from uh, the Great Bay with, through that little cutscene there. What we're going to want to do is we're going to want to jump over onto this mushroom-like structure over here with these rocks. And uh, generally what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to wait until midnight of the first night. So I'm actually going to cut it right here. And I'm going to come back once it is midnight. Alright, so I'll see you guys in a bit. Alright, y'all, just about uh, midnight here. Actually, it's going to take us about 15 seconds or so. But all we got to do now is just wait. Just wait it out. Just wait it out. We're on something that looks like a mushroom. By a bunch of rocks. Let's see. Oh. Whoa, jeez, that 
really weird looking guy with purple underwear showed up. Oh. I am no longer part of the living. My sadness to the moon. I haven't left my dance to the world. I am filled with regret. Ah. Translation. I'm disappointed, O Moon. I have died. Oh, I plan to bring the world together and stir it into a giant melting pot with my dance. If only I had taught my new dance to someone. The spirit dancer, Kamado, was added to your notebook. Alright, what we're gonna do with this guy right here is pull out your ocarina and play yourself the Song of Healing. Which, that's not how you play it. I don't remember how to play it. Oh, yes, I do. And it seems to have an effect on him. Thank goodness. This guy's creeping me out. Oh. Spread my dance across the world. Train its followers. Ah. Translation. I've taught it to you. Now make it to a popular dance craze. We got ourselves the Kamado's Mask. Alright, use it to teach his dance to the world so his moves can be popular as you'd hope they would. Oh. I am counting on you. Ah. Translation. I am counting on you. You became the dancer's successor. This was added to your notebook. Alright, so we completed the notebook entry for that guy. Alright, so now what we're going to want to do is, we're actually going to want to jump off this mushroom! Or fall off, rather. Ah! Alright, and around here, watch out for those snow guys that throw giant snowballs at you, and it sucks when you get hit. Alright, around here, there is a hole that we can fall into to get ourselves the next heart piece. Uh, oh, jeez, I don't remember exactly where it is, but we're going to find it. Oh, there it is, right there. Wow, it's literally right underneath it. Alright, we're going to go into there. And, uh, just gonna warn you right now, you are probably not prepared for this, but we're gonna give it a shot anyway. There are two... There are two Dodonkos in this room, and they are bent on destruction. Alright, but there is a strategy to killing these guys. Um, what you wanna do is you wanna let them breathe fire at you, and then run around behind them, hit them with your sword, and then quickly, with your shield still up, I didn't do it right that time. But, um... Actually, you can back. Oh my goodness, it's not looking good. Oh no, I'm going to die. I'm going to die. Oh, this is this is bad. This is really bad. Oh my god. Ah, oh, boy. Nah. This is not good. Holy oh, crap! Don't kill me. All right, new plan. Um, whoa, real close up. Uh, uh all right. Um, okay. <laughs> that did not go as well as I planned it to go. And that's the down goes and come and try to kill me. Alright, but there is a way to do this. I've done it before. But I don't know why. Okay, there we go. That's better. Oh my god. Uh, basically what you do is you do that and then you just get out of the way of their tail because when their tail swings at you, it's gonna hurt you, so. You can also have them breathe fire at each other. I don't think it has any benefit, but. Alright, let's see. I'm a Dodongo Slayer! Oh god. Don't- Oh, also you can run into them and they can't hurt you, so that's another- uh, Oh my god! Holy crap! <sighs> Once again, um, you may not be prepared for this and that's okay, because um, I'm kind of doing this way underpowered right now. So don't worry about it if you don't feel like doing this right now. This is, just, this is actually crazy. Oh my god. Oh, I'm so tense right now, holy crap. I should've- I was thinking about it, and I should've bought bombs, because as we very well know, they just like smoke, and I believe that also carries over into this game. I don't know why I didn't- I am a fool, and- and I better not die, or I'm gonna be- OH MY GOD, OH MY GOD, OH CRAP, OH MY GOD, no! I feel like I'm crying- OH NO! Freaking- Oh. Ah. Uh. Well, I died. <laughs> oh, jeez. Alright, well, that's what happens when you die. Anyway, alright, so we're gonna... We're, oh, boy, that was really bad. Alright, so what I'm gonna do is, actually, I'm gonna cut it, and I'm gonna get myself some bombs, and we're gonna try that again. Alright, so I will see you guys... Actually, no. What we're gonna do right now is uh, we're gonna head over to this way. I'm gonna do one thing, and then I'm gonna go back and kill those Dodongos. Um, long story short, usually, uh, that's the best way to do it, unless you have bombs like I should have, but I was dumb and didn't end up getting them. For, for whatever reason. 
All right, what we're actually gonna do is we're gonna get ourselves one heart piece. That's a lot easier. <laughs> a lot easier to get. I'll tell you that right now. Oh my goodness, I cannot believe that happened. All right, so you see these two dancing girls over here? Don't bother us. And they're upset generally because um, the Rosa sisters, twin dancers, were at his notebook. Basically, they are having trouble finding a dance for the for the carnival. So what are we gonna do? We're gonna teach them a new dance. for teaching us those steps. <laughs> you are our master. And we get ourselves a heart piece. All right, we got a new heart container. Maybe we cannot die as quickly. I got those Tatangas. All right, we stole hearts of the dancers. I need your notebook. Oh, Link's so modest. Master, you're so cool. And we got ourselves a pause, and now they know a new dance. And that is the only purpose of this mask. Alright, but like I said, I'm going to cut it after I get some myself some bombs. And then we're going to go back in that hole. We're going to kick some Dodongo butt. Alright, so I'll see you guys in a moment. Alright guys, we're back. Um, back at the hole here. We're gonna, <laughs> we're hopefully gonna do a lot better job, and I apologize if this episode's a little bit long, but I need to get my revenge on the Tatangos. This is complete insane. Alright, this time though, we're a bit prepared. We got ourselves a bit of smoke. Which seems to work quite well. And he's, oh my god. I guess you could just throw the bob, uh, the bob bombs, wow. The bombs right, Ah oh, man, I got fire breathed on. I guess you can throw the bombs right at them, they don't need to be inside their mouths or anything, which is pretty awesome. Uh, I missed that time. Thanks. Oh, it still got him though. That's pretty good. And also, they keep breathing fire in the same exact direction. Oh, hey, I killed it! Holy crap! Wow, that was way easier than trying to do it the way I was doing it. Oh, and also, they dropped 50 rupees. Which is pretty friggin' sweet. Alright, so I guess it takes six bombs to kill a Dodongo. Or at least a uh, big Dodongo, anyway. Baby Dodongos are probably like three or something. Dodongo dislike smoke! This is what you get for killing me, you jerk! Die! Monster, you don't belong in this world! Boom! And we got ourselves our freaking heart piece. Alright. Give myself some more money. More money, more problems, less Dodongos. So I guess that's less problems. Alright, got ourselves another heart piece. I think that's heart piece number nine, I believe. Yeah, 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 increase. Alright, but that's gonna have to be it for this episode, guys. I'm pretty sure it's quite long. But, alright, in this part, we got ourselves a mask and three heart pieces. So, in the next part, we're gonna be continuing with our little side quest shenanigans. Alright, until next time, guys. Wish51, peace out.